Sketch fillets and chamfers are sketch tools that are used to round out and break sharp corners. The sketch fillet tool trims away a corner and creates a tangent arc, resulting in a smoother edge. The sketch chamfer tool also trims away a corner but results in a beveled edge. In this lesson you will learn how to use both the sketch fillet and sketch chamfer tools. Let's begin with the sketch fillet and to start this command you have to make sure you are in a sketch so your sketch is activated and I have a quick 2D profile I've created here to demonstrate the fillet and chamfers. The fillet tool can be found on your toolbar, so make sure the sketch tab is activated. You'll find sketch fillet here. Also, if you want chamfer, you can drop that down and select chamfer. Another way is pushing S on the keyboard, S for shortcut, and finding the fillet or dropping it down to select the chamfer. So in this case, we want to use a fillet. You can see our command is now active. It's in the left hand panel and there's a few options here I want to cover. First is the entities to fill it. The entities are basically the lines that are meeting to a point and that's where you want the uh, tangent arc to be. You can do this in two ways. You can either pick the line and the other line and this will create a fillet. It's not creating it in this case because the radius is too large. So we're going to actually change the radius here to a five and then we're going to pick that second line again. And you can see a temporary line is put in place to indicate where the fillet's going to be. Another way of doing it is actually just picking the point where the two lines meet. And you can actually add multiple fillets throughout the sketch by doing this. So you don't have to pick the command for each fillet that you're doing. You can actually start at once. As long as the uh, fillets are the same radius throughout, we can pick this corner. And in this case, we're going to actually just pick the corner of those two and then push OK. And our fillet has been created. We can then exit the command by pushing escape on the keyboard. So you'll notice the uh, the fillet has been created on these two edges and it's placed a radius dimension here. This is where you can control the size of the fillets that we've just created. So if we want to adjust that, we can double click on that five radius and we might change this to a three. So we'll put in a three and enter and you can see these have now updated. Back to our default 2D profile, I just want to show you another thing in the options that's important. Starting the sketch fillet command again, you'll notice there is a checkbox for keep constrained corners. What this is doing is keeping the sketch relations in place when you create a fillet on a corner. So if we we uncheck that, it may actually remove any sketch relations that we have in place. So I'm going to make sure that's unchecked in this case, and I'm going to put a sketch fillet here, and you'll notice an error comes up or a notification comes up saying that there is a uh, geometry relations in place and they're going to be deleted if we create this fillet. So we'll say yes and then we go OK. And you can see it has created but it's removed this sketch relation that was involved in this area before to create that fillet. So there are certain cases where you will use this. It just depends on the situation. One more thing I want to cover is going back to our default 2D profile, starting the sketch fillet. There is another tick box here that is dimension each fillet. So if we pick say this corner and this corner, uh, we're going to say no because we want to actually keep constrained corners in this case. Dimension each fillet. So normally as in the first example, it will just create one radius and that dimension, that radius dimension will control all fillets that you just created. So you, you could create 10 fillets, have one dimension, and if you change it, it's going to adjust all those fillets that you created. But maybe you don't want to have that overarching control. Maybe you want to be able to individually adjust each one afterwards. So that's where dimension each fillet comes in place. So we're going to put a tick onto that and click OK. Uh, looks like we didn't have our other one selected. So we're just going to pick this one as well. Click OK. So now we actually have two dimensions and I could then change this one to say 2.5 and it's going to be controlled individually. And if there were more, they would also have their own dimension and also be able to be controlled individually. Moving on to the sketch chamfer. So the sketch chamfer is when you want a hard corner. Uh, a fillet is a rounded and a chamfer is a hard edge. So we're going to go to the sketch chamfer and in the sketch chamfer, we have a few options of running this command. So the first one is angle distance. This will mean that you specify a distance from the corner to the point and an angle between it. So that might be 45 degrees. So to give an example, we're going to say 10 mils, 45 
45 degrees and you can preset these amounts before you actually drop the command in and we're going to put one here so you can see it's now done a 10 distance with a 45 degree and we can adjust that if we need to by say changing this to 30 degrees and so forth the next one is distance distance so in this case we don't worry about the angle but we're going to use two dimensions to create that chamfer so let's say we want a 5 and a 10 mil we then pick this line and this line it's created that 5 and 10 but be aware here that because of that unequal distance it is based on which line you click first for which dimension you want in place so if I actually wanted the 5 on this side and the 10 on the top side I would actually have to pick the lines in the opposite order that I just did so if we undo that go back to our sketch jamfer we have 5 and 10 with a distance distance so the first time I pick the top line and then the line on the side this time we'll pick the side and then the top so you can see now it's actually done the 5 on this side and the 10 so it does depend on which line you click for which dimension is set when you're doing the distance distance and finally with the distance distance there is the equal distance so that just means that you can check that box and just have one number or one distance so we'll make that a 10 and let's pick on this corner and just make that 10 so this way we don't need differing dimensions on each side we just know it's a 10 by 10 another way of doing this would be using the angle distance and just saying 10 by 45 so it really depends on what control you want afterwards would be what sort of options you're using and that's it that's sketch fillets and sketch chamfers very easy you can either do these in the sketching environment but you can also apply radiuses or fillets and chamfers to 3d solids but that will be covered in another chapter uh, this just covers the sketching side of fillets and chamfers.